I think it's Charlie's turn since he hasn't been here. It's, mm-hmm. it's super not fair. Uh, <laughs> I told you I was so I was free the entire week except yesterday because Tiana's flight got in right when you guys wanted to record and then we went to dinner. But yeah, I'll take the intro anyway. It's not a big deal. Welcome to another episode of the official podcast. Uh, we're joined with the same four men as always. And allegedly behind my back yesterday, they had such a hoot and a holler on a bonus episode. And I'm excited to hear all about the hijinks they got up to. Take it away, boys. <laughs> it's true. We did. Who wants to tell them? We, we, had, a, we had a fantastic bonus episode, my friend. Uh, all, all four of us. It was a great bonus episode. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, Charlie? We were all here, including See, you. Yeah. Do you not remember? So to all the listeners here that aren't patrons, I, I don't understand it either. I've just been getting like questions <laughs> about, am I alive? I, I heard you were tripping really hard <laughs> and all kinds of weird shit, like cryptic riddles. Like, I feel like I'm being haunted by a Batman villain. <laughs> Charlie, no, no offense to you, but I think that yesterday's bonus episode was legitimately the best one we've ever had. But it was also yeah. thanks to you. So that's good. <laughs> Uh, that was amazing so uh, i think i'm gonna say it give it away because by the time this comes out it's gonna be thursday that's plenty of days for yeah exactly it It wasn't really planned as an april fool's joke but it was charlie just he could not join us for the last bonus that we did so i decided how could i use my newfound soundboarding powers if not to make a charlie soundboard so Charlie, I went and took your uh, track from episode 82 exclusively, and I just, you were my puppet. And hmm. the, mo- the most fun part was I told Jackson and Andrew <laughs> not to tell anybody beforehand. They were in on it. Nobody else was. And everybody thought it was really you. It was amazing. I, I Nobody l- noticed. Not a single person the entire time or after the episode or at any point ever realized it was a fucking soundboard. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh that's that's why every time we did a little riff or a little joke, I laughed like 10 times harder than I normally do because people were playing into thinking Charlie was actually there. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. The chat is shitting on me right now. They are incredulous. They can't believe I did this to them. Oh. Well, yeah, I, I just want to work in also that it was perfect timing that Charlie couldn't be there the day before April Fool's. Yeah. So we upload yeah. the bonus like nothing's wrong and he's in it and it's uploaded on April Fool's Day. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. It worked out so perfectly. Oh, it was great. So Charlie, I had a bunch of clips, just regular, a few of you going, yeah, no, of course, no way. <laughs> and sh- sh- like that, but then I also had really obscure ones that I couldn't work in uh, just randomly into conversation. Like, you say that it's impressive to shop 100 CDs up your ass, so I had to just contrive <laughs> some sort of a conversation about <laughs> shoving CDs up my ass. I, But it all worked out. Uh, people started asking why you were so silent because for a while there I forgot I even had your soundboard and we were talking about another topic turns out it's kind of difficult to be two people on one podcast at the same time my brain was split in half my my poor brain which isn't even enough for one person at the best of times (laughs) you're a very (laughs) talented autistic mind even when it's not crippled by (laughs) and hobbled by alcohol oh my god so I we came up, I just on the spot came up with the excuse that you were doing LSD and the excuse flew <laughs> like a charm because I could, the soundboard was, with the soundboard it was very easy to make you sound drunk and uh, drugged up and people well, believed you, it. How did you make me sound drunk and drugged up? Give me an example. <laughs> like, do you still have it? Fuck, I wish I had saved if- it someplace. If you out there want to listen to this episode, by the way, because I'll just I'll just go ahead and shill it. I'll, I'll do Kaya's job. You can uh, become a patron on our Patreon and listen to the newest bonus episode, bonus episode 29. It's a fantastic episode. It is, honestly, to... Kaya outdid himself with the soundboard on this one. I highly recommend it. It was, it was brilliant. I don't think I've laughed as hard as I have, uh, as I did. I have the episode, if I can crowdsource the autism real quick into our live chat. If you can give me the time code for when he admits to taking LSD and also <laughs> oh, denies oh, the uh, you know what you could attacks. also do? Why don't you play the soundboard right now? I, he just said he doesn't have it. Oh, no, I happened? have it. Yeah. Charlie, have a conversation with yourself. 
<laughs> no, have a conversation with yourself, yeah, Charlie. Go. Give me Do my it. clone. See if I can outsmart that guy. God damn it, Doc. Ugh, fucking hell. Hang on. <laughs> it's not as easy as I make it look, fellas. <laughs> okay, oh. this, this, this. <laughs> All right, while you, while you take the time to you set up... performance anxiety. While you take the time to set up, I also want to mention that literally two different people after the episode was over, messaged me on Twitter and they were like, Andrew, could you just drive to Charlie's house and check on him? Is he okay? Is he going to, are you sure that he's going to be all right? I'm worried about him, man. I was like, you know what? I think he's going to be just fine. <laughs> uh, after the episode, I was like, I'll check on him. I'll go see if he's okay. I'll give him a phone call. I didn't do a goddamn thing. <laughs> it's because Kaya made the responses to our questions to you just sound so giggly and like oh, man. just out of place. So it, it really did sound like we were talking to a soundboard, but because we played it off so naturally and well, smoothly, where we're natural born actors here on the official podcast, no one could tell that you were a soundboard, but you just sound drugged out, drugged out of yeah. your mind. Was that Charlie or the soundboard? <laughs> yeah. Probably th 15 times nobody noticed at the most awkward moments. <laughs> it just, hey, Charlie, are you fine? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Charlie. The soundboard would answer before you finished talking sometimes. Charlie, now's the, <laughs> That's what I love. Now's the time for you to have a philosophical debate with yourself. Go ahead. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what all has been programmed into my, my doppelganger here. You said CDs and assholes. I guess, can you tell us about that, Charlie? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, hang on. Uh, listen, I studied this list yesterday and now it's out of my head. I don't know what, what all I clipped. I know I had this one, which is, uh, I was going to ask Charlie, hey, Charlie, what do you think about me? When I say a stud, I mean, quite honestly, like the world's <laughs> most incredible man. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> it's like a ventriloquism act on America's Got Talent. <laughs> it's I just, I just can't believe no one else saw the pieces. We had uh, Brady, a good old, a good old buddy, change his account to have your name and your profile picture on Discord. And he hopped in the call so no one would notice that you weren't in the Discord call. Mm -hmm. But no one at any point pointed out that your microphone never lit up the entire time. <laughs> Literally just dead silent the whole episode. You will have to do some major editing on this, Jackson, because I'm scrubbing the episode now. If it protects you, it's like a life debt. It's such a scary thought, though, yeah. where you have to uh, you have to think about and balance. Yeah, way more street <laughs> cred. Come on. Hang true. Is this, I don't even I don't know <laughs> what a soundboard is anymore. What's, what's, what's hang happening? On, hang on. Okay. I know it's confusing because it's our voices. <laughs> but this <laughs> is where it begins. I'm sorry. I had to find the exact spot. This is where it starts here. You bring up a to topic now. I, I had a topic I was going to bring up, and I, I've forgotten it now, unfortunately. I'm sorry to God say. God damn it. You Jesus do this all the <laughs> fucking time. Every Charlie, time. You, like before, yesterday you said that you and Tiana were going to get high on LSD or something. Are you high right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just absolutely... Yeah, you just high. <laughs> Are you just fucked up right now? <laughs> no, oh my God. <laughs> that explains it. I like how on our subreddit there was a thread today asking if we're pro uh, marijuana. weed and like marijuana. Yeah. yeah. And somebody Charlie said, well, it's probably the coke ones. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the same thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, right. is high. Why don't we just quash that? Doing it without us too. Why don't Why don't we just quash that rumor right now? I I believe I can firmly say that all of us are are pro weed. There's no problem with that. Yeah, yeah. So ch no topic, Charlie. No, no. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. I'm <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ending it there. You get the yeah, point. So. You can see why we were all losing our shit, because all of us knew that we weren't talking to anybody. <laughs> That's fucking wild. <laughs> I would really, I would actually Maybe recommend you, you check it out, Charlie. I will I'll have to now to catch up on the, the rumors. Yeah. <laughs> on, yeah, what, what, what you've been said. saying, yeah. including 9-11 denial, which is my favorite part, but I don't have the, <laughs> I don't have the time code for that one. Plus, I don't want to give away too much of the bonus episode that you will have to subscribe to, to get... Uh. <laughs> the, uh, what, what is it? Patreon.com slash the official podcast. 
when we were setting up for the yes. episode, I, I fucking said, I said to the other guys, because we knew Charlie wouldn't make it, should we at least, you know, tell tell the patrons that it'll be a three-man? I don't want to let them down. And Kaya just said, well, I've got a Charlie soundboard. I want to see how far I can get. <laughs> and I, I had, I had no, I, I had no goddamn idea he would be able to perfectly pull off an entire episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, it was fun. amazing. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry for confusing everybody at home with our, with a clip that's our exact voices, no less. <laughs> so that confused me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't know what was going <laughs> me where. Too. So this week, I've been busy this weekend. This is my third live show this weekend. I was on Carl's. Who are these podcasts? And we decided to roast the misfits. And Carl does his due diligence. He does his homework. He he listens to multiple episodes, reads the Wikipedia pages. He reads the Wikipedia ba- pages that are still being edited, goes to the YouTube pages, there, whatever, all of this shit. And he pointed out to me that these guys are kind of ripping us off. Do you guys listen to the misfits? <laughs> I tune in, yeah. Who is on that again? Just to refresh my memory. We've had, We've had a few guys. Swaggers, yeah. Swaggers, Soul, Swagger Souls, and, and then two others, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then there's there's also Zuckles and a couple others as well, yeah. But Swagger Souls and Fitz are the, the driving boys? No, the whole crew is the driving yeah, it's boys. A zoo oh, and stuff. okay. There's I, like 17 people on the show. Yeah, I, I got confused. I didn't remember who was on it. Okay. Continue. Some similarities have been pointed out to me. Now, their show is much younger. They have like, if you round the numbers here, we're at 120 episodes roughly, and they're at roughly 30 episodes. So, uh, what is 30 episodes? Not even a year, right? That they're doing this. So this is how they start their episode. No, and pay attention, see if you notice something. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh! Right. oh. <gasps> Those okay. motherfuckers! Yeah. 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 All right. Am I doing the intro again, or are we changing it up every time? No, 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 I got it. Oh, you got you do, Swagger Souls, do you? Sounds a mm. little familiar, does it not? But mm. it gets even more I damning. I we trademarked the clap sync. We did. That's even more we damning. Did. So what is our trademark? Our <laughs> trademark is we get on big list celebrities like Notch, like that cons David Cross, and we ask them retarded questions like, how do you jack off? Pay attention to this. I'm just aware that there's new listeners coming in all the time, and so I just feel like saying, like, we're going to be talking about jacking off for a good another 20 minutes. <laughs> and Welcome back to the Jack Off Podcast. <laughs> wow. Jack Off Podcast? Uh, I wow. don't know about that. Excuse me? Yeah, that's We've always been the Jack Off Podcast. Someone has been reading our comments Thank section. Thank God we hired those lawyers. Good but God. I, How I, dare I, they? How fucking dare they take our name that we accidentally made and didn't even mean to be calling ourselves? Well, it just kind of worked out. Uh, it's just very damning that, you know, Swagger Souls, when he came on, he was like, well, we've been listening to the podcast since almost mm-hmm. the inception. And then wow. all of a sudden they're talking about masturbating on the air. I, mm-hmm. They, they might, might not know it, but in our community, we've been known as the Misfits podcast a fair bit of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, we're a whole gang of misfits. No. Are they are they weekly? Are they once a week? I think so, yeah. A- Even another taking thing our format. Off. Yeah, hey, listen, if that's not bad enough, if that's not convincing enough to you, you might think, hey, you know, a lot of guys talk about jacking off. That's just coincidence. Here is the smoking gun. So what do we do when we're out of <sighs> topics and we didn't do any show prep, which is every week? We stumble over our words and we do something boring and start talking about video games. But listen to the end here. Yeah, but uh, what's been going on, boys? I've I've still getting over my sickness, but I'm feeling better now. What's been happening with you? Oh, uh, I won an Apex. Well, no, actually, I didn't oh, win. Yeah, well, you- I, I was in an Apex tournament with Oasis on Overwatch and Jackson. What? Me? N- they have an Australian called Jackson now? I don't know about that. Jackson? Care to yeah, explain? Jackson? Jackson? Uh, uh, have you been I've cheating? I've been here the whole time, boys. No, I'm here. No one else would want me on a podcast. Don't they worry. They steal our I'm clap here. sync. They steal our topics. They steal our Jackson. Swagger Those souls, you need to come on the show and defend yourself. <laughs> you know what? Bring the entire Misfits crew on. <laughs> we'll have this 12 17 people in a call. Yeah. This is disgusting. Disgusting. And I will leave you with Walter White's immortal words. Stay out of my territory. God damn it, yes. Kaya. God fucking damn it. How, Entertaining how much... dumbasses with jack-off conversation is our niche. That's our market. That's what people pay us for on Patreon.com slash the official podcast. How fucking dare you? 
Uh, do you work for your local radio now? Radio now, because you just you seem to have put literal hours into finding sound bites and setting up these little skits, finding the right songs. He's the college campus DJ. Yeah, really. I, I'll say I'll, I I put more time into this now than I'd like to admit, but it, it's also not so much that I not do it because I I get the feeling people are enjoying it, so I like it. It's fun. I guarantee uh-huh. next week, now fucking Fitz will be behind the soundboard doing similar shticks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, if, if next week Fitz does hit a soundboard or one of them starts doing that, we'll, we'll have actual evidence. I, I'd take them to fucking court. Yeah. <laughs> How about we just take the misfits? They're like, fi- like five times the size of us. We'll battle for titles, <laughs> deeds to the cars. Or how about how about we parlay and we divide the podcast up accordingly? Like we'll get Swagger Souls every other week. Uh, Jackson and mm. I will go there and record bonus content for them. Oh, we'll, oh, so like a divorce we just settlement? Yeah, it. we'll work out a yeah, deal. Yeah. yeah. Or or we kill them all and just take over their turf and we're the ruler. Mm. I don't okay, fucking yeah, bargain with anybody. Too. Why should I share? Yeah, I have my eye on you, terrorists. Jackson. You double agent. Me. Ma- Maybe we should do that. Maybe next year, because it, it's literally April Fool's when we're recording this. Maybe next year we'll do an episode for them and they'll do one for us and we just won't tell anybody. <laughs> I like that, actually. That's I actually funny. like that a lot. A- edit that out, Jackson. It's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to forget we'll sh- within a year. I promise you, Pete, Charlie, people will forget. When I was when we did the episode with your soundboard, I took uh, your clips and your topics from episode 82 and people kind of had a hunch. They were like, didn't they already talk about this? But nobody was sure enough to actually even, call even, me out. <laughs> even I had a hunch, Kaya, because at the very first, the very first time you did it, I said, didn't we talk about this already? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Memories oh, wait. Memories fade. Soundboards uh, are forever. When you very first started up, I went, oh, wait, I think we talked about this already. And then I remembered, oh, wait, you're setting up a bit. So then I just kept going with it. <laughs> It was so good, though. It was so fucking good. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Sorry. I just had to call out some plagiarism and you know, drop the mic. Yeah. Put him on blast. Defend our niche. Oh, God, Charlie. I'm so glad you didn't start streaming during the bonus episode or something. <laughs> well, I didn't get home till like two hours later. I told you I genuinely couldn't make that. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> 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 Andrew, anyway, what, yeah, what? what? What do we have, though, that misfits don't have? Oh, a, a lot of things. Have you seen how handsome we are? Oh. <laughs> what about what we yeah, sleep but, on, Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Misfits are going to have... Misfits are going to have a lot of things that don't fit them properly. But I think I and the rest of the official boys can help you find a mattress that fits you perfectly. You like that? You like that? Mm-hmm. 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 Let me ask you guys a question. How did you sleep last night? Were you uh, my back hurts. Great. Well, you, you know, your back hurts. A little tossing, a little turning. A little, yeah, I need a, a new stress mattress. Keeping you awake, waking up all the time. I personally know that sometimes when I'm not sleeping on a comfy place, I wake up literally like four fucking times a night i can't do it and that's why the purple mattress will probably feel different than anything you've ever experienced because it uses brand new materials that were developed by an actual rocket scientist and it will not feel like the memory foam that you're used to sleeping on it's going to be some amazing purple technology it feels unique firm and soft at the same time keeps everything supported and if you sleep on it you'll be able to say Nothing, because you'll be asleep soundly on a comfortable mattress. You're going to love Purple with a 100-night risk-free trial. You can back it up with a 10-year warranty and have free shipping and returns. And right now, everyone listening to this podcast can get a free Purple Pillow with the purchase of a mattress. That's in addition to all the other free stuff they're giving away on their site. The only way to get this free pillow is to text OFFICIAL to 84888 that's o f f i c i a l to 84888 message and data rates may apply okay so next topic i was going to say this has always bothered me about you know whenever some shit happens and uh, like twitter drama youtube drama somebody will bring up uh, private conversations uh, screenshots twitter screenshots or facebook screenshots i can't fucking believe that in 2019 in the age of deep fakes and in the age of 
me being able to edit Charlie's audio to where people actually believe he's a 9-11 truther. People still believe in chat lock screenshots. Can we end this? Can we please stop sharing screenshots of private messages as if they mean anything, as if it doesn't take just two and a half seconds in Photoshop to fake that? What has no, got the people, on the this people in the conversations don't usually come out and outright say, like, call it a fake, though. They usually just go, yeah, I said that. And then <laughs> it's it's a bit more believable than when even the person who uh, the drama is about just agrees to it. But they should say that. And a screenshot of a private conversation or even nudes, they should be looked at as if somebody just showed you a photo of Bigfoot or a UFO. That's how unbelievably easy they are to fake. I don't know how this still flies in, in this day and age when I go on Twitter and I still see these little drama Twitter spats between furries and such, and they're sharing a hundred thousand DMs. Now, do you, are you only talking about when it's easy to prove it fake, or are you talking about ones where in general, because what if they like prove beyond that, that it's real and legit? Well, how do you prove it beyond that? I would take a video Besides, of it. Yeah, I can fake the video. <laughs> No, so what I would do is I'd log into Twitter on video and just go directly to the message. You can fake that. You can fake a website. I can fake a login. It's called phishing. You can download Twitter, just change some of the CSS, HTML, the JavaScript, the PHP, boom. What if I show the URL, though? You can change that, too. That's a problem. I mean, you can fake anything if you're dedicated enough. What if That's I do true. it from my phone? I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying fake to it on break. your phone, too. I mean, the problem I'm trying is you, to myth bust you. I don't know. You can fake all of it. In, uh, unless you're the actual company that owns the servers where the private messages are hosted somehow, where like maybe if Jack from Twitter comes and says, yes, those DMs between those two furries, those are true. He did hit on a minor. Unless that is the case. I don't know. Uh, it's so easy. And it's scary because it, it means I could go on Twitter right now, fake a bunch of private messages and get any of you in trouble. Uh -uh. He's right. Uh oh. Uh-oh, wait, you hear that, Misfits? We're coming. Don't message us on Twitter again. <laughs> yeah, I'm a minor for all you know, Swagger and Fitz. Yeah. You know, now that I think about it, when Swagger Souls did ask to be on the podcast, he also put in parentheses, if you have child porn, I'd love to see it. Huh. Okay. <laughs> he did not say that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have the chat logs to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all legit and real. I think, geez, after yesterday, I need. I feel like I have to bask everything in a disclaimer. Like this is a joke. Yeah. And editor's note. Editor's note. Swagger Souls was nothing but a kind, sweet, caring man. Anyway, mm -hmm. back to shitting on his career and image. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what was the point? What was the point of this? Did you see some fresh drama yesterday that sparked this topic? Or no, was this I made completely out of the blue. I made a fake Charlie yesterday that sparked this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> the power I, like, I like that phrase a lot. <laughs> I like that phrase a lot. I made a fake Charlie. As I was sitting in Cubase editing, meticulously editing Charlie's words out of certain sentences, making himself like a complete dickhead, it occurred to me, this is dangerous. This is not okay. Imagine what I could do if I had like a G NVIDIA graphics card and the knowledge to deep fake shit. Oh, my. I'd or be... a few body parts in real life, you could hobble them together and make a real fake, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, if I had some biology lessons, who knows what the hell I could accomplish. Oh my god. Like Frankenstein's monster. How long until deep fake technology becomes perfected to the point where anyone can do anything? Like, not only do you get the whole... Like, right now, deep fake goes as far as you need an actor to plaster the face on. How long mm -hmm. until we get to where you don't even need that to deep fake it? You can have anyone doing anything and you can perfectly synthesize their voice. How long? So, like, really lifelike 3D like rendering. Just if, if you watch... Exactly. If you watch the video, you legitimately could not tell it wasn't real. A few decades. At best. I mean, if you really? look at the first Toy Story and you look at the trailers for the last ones, they, they have like photorealistic renderings of the environments and such. Yeah, a few decades, give it a few couple, you know, 20, 30, 50 years at most. And you're going to have people where they buy just one NVIDIA graphics card and anybody who downloads Maya or Blender can just render lifelike human looking characters, I'm sure. Unless they outlaw it, which isn't unlikely, unfortunately, too, because I, I'm just I'm just imagining the future. A lot of them are now outlawing the gene editing, 
the CRISPR stuff because they don't want to have a bunch of super intelligent babies like the Chinese accidentally created and quotes accident. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they want S that though? Super intelligent babies kind of, kind of sounds pretty scary. That opens the door to eugenics, Charlie. Like what if, you know, what if a whole nation just decides, well, you know what, we don't want black babies. We only want blue-eyed, blonde babies who are super intelligent. And then turns out 50 years later, all of them get cancer at the same time because the gene editing had a problem in it or something like that. You know, it's... I thought it would be more like playing God, like they didn't like that. That too, yeah, obviously. Well, yeah, that's part of the specifically argument. Specifically choose, well, circumvent God's creationism and do it yourself kind of thing. Right. See, I'm just and looking too, towards the... It. I'm just looking into the future of it, though, where I'm wondering if that becomes the norm. What do you have left? Like, will you have will you have escalation wars? Like, I made you a video of you fucking a chicken. Oh, yeah. Well, here's a video <laughs> of you wearing a dress at a children's pageant. It's like once that becomes the norm, how do you how do you slander eyes and fuck with people? It, like, do you just keep escalating and escalating? And even then, what's the end game? I don't know, but it is scary because imagine it's if, scary. Exactly. Like, shooters these days they take videos imagine if like the mosque shooter that dumb fuck who shot a bunch of innocent people and filmed it and streamed it on facebook imagine like a task force of russian trolls or something as soon as that guy streams it on facebook they download the video and deep fake you into it to frame <laughs> you for the crime right i mean there's so many possibilities and as yeah. the years progress anybody will be able to do this i mean take swatting Take swatting to a new level. There's all these shitheads who just have to, right now, they just call the police and they say, hey, this guy is a bomb. Imagine them having the technology where they can deep fake you into an ISIS video or into a mass shooting. And then they call the police and say, hey, I have video evidence of this guy uh, doing this crime. We just talked about that asshole yesterday. The the guy who went to prison for 20 years for swatting that, yeah. that mm -hmm. poor man. Remember, Charlie, you weren't here, but the guy, I know you got really pissed off at that. Yeah. I say remember because you made a video about it. The guy who was shot by the police from across the street, remember that guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That guy was a victim because this serial swatter called in the SWAT team on him, which was the wrong address too. That's the problem. You know, you're going to get guys like that to just want to cause mayhem and troll around. Ex both exciting and scary. I don't know. Uh, it's very yeah. scary, but I, I feel like yeah. the CRISPR thing, I don't know, that one I'm not overly understanding about because there's so much good you can do with that kind of thing. Like you could edit out like birth defects. You, you could edit out a whole bunch of like debilitating things. So to just outright outlaw that, I think is just way too heavy handed. And People not are very... still coming to terms with yeah. vaccinations, Charlie. Uh, I mean, yeah, you, you, you also have to remember for every positive <laughs> use of technology people will find negative uses for it i mean at the end of the day we made oh, explosives yeah. and oh, awesome we can mine things more efficiently we can clear landscape we can do a lot of stuff but oh look we can also blow up churches you know what i'm saying it's yeah. not really at the end of the day you can't really tell people not to do bad shit with things like that because yeah it, once the technology it anyway. once the technology exists it is going to be used if not by the population, then by the governments. I mean, the fucking North Koreans are going to do it to their super soldiers if they get their hands on it. They're not going to listen mean, to about any it, uh, UN declarations. But think of, yeah, again, mm -hmm. it's like Jackson says, you're going to start playing God. You're, people are going to be like, hey, I'm, I don't want my this fetus to have cancer ever. Cool. I also don't want it to be gay. Oh, well, that's a little <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I mean, think uh, think about it this way. It's it's just hard to see repercussions of everything. I think it was even the very first Nobel Peace Prize, or one of the first. It was given to the man who invented dynamite. Yeah, that like is dynamite. Nobel. He invented dynamite. That is Nobel, right? That's yeah. that's. I I knew I had a wire crossed there, but yeah, Nobel himself invented fucking dynamite. Like dynamite's got a lot of great uses, a lot of great scientific and prog progress applications, but uh, you can also cause a lot of shit with it, and people have caused a lot of shit with it. And at the end of the day, it's just what people want to do with the technology. So it's it's the same thing with like uh, with certain drugs. You know, they outlaw them. Yeah, because Charlie. While... <laughs> yeah, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> but it's it's the same shit with certain drugs, because while there are definitely doctors and some patients out there who can use it to regulate pain or mental shit, there's a lot of people out there who abuse it. So they just certain drugs, they just outlaw it. Yeah, yeah. I agree. 
Speaking of outlawing and banning and forbidding shit, Jackson, you yesterday you showed me a link. Did you want to talk Ooh, about yeah. that at all? Uh, yeah, sure. So yesterday, well, yesterday was April Fool's in can I, Australia. Hey, 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 can I, I guess... give context real quick? Yeah. Yesterday, uh, during the show, uh, I don't know what topic it was, but Andrew and I, we were talking about how people, we're still stuck in a mentality where if some bad thing happens and everybody blames the gamers, like the game made you shoot all those people. <laughs> And Andrew said, yeah, you know, it's all the old, old fuckers, you know, all the dumb old people who don't know what games are or what they're even good for, or how it even looks. And I said, no, unfortunately, it's not just the old people, it's young people too now, the, the kind of people who think that memes can cause regular boys to become white supremacists and shoot up uh, high schools and that sort of stuff. And we had a good giggle. We, we uh, brought up how Marilyn Manson used to be blamed for his satanic lyrics causing the Columbine shooting back in the day. So we wrap up the episode and I, I think like 15, 20 minutes later, Jackson sends me that link. So go ahead, Jackson. Mm -hmm. So this was a link to r slash games. Um, and yesterday for April Fool's, their idea of an epic prank on the internet was just closing their forum for the day and making an epic spiel about how gamers can do better how they <laughs> yeah. can be better there, wasn't their tagline like for april fools we're not doing april fools and then they yeah. just went on a try ahead of this shit yeah the first sentence was like this april fools we decided to take things a little more seriously yeah that's what people want on april fools yeah, that, yeah. for some <laughs> fucking forum moderator to tell us how to act thank you oh jesus like this this is such a long this is uh about eight paragraphs i don't want to read it all but the, one of them is in recent times it's this is uh an announcement from the moderators the day before april fool's day reminder on one of the biggest gaming subreddits on reddit in recent mm -hmm. times it's come to our attention that what has been intended to be a forum for the potential spread of knowledge and involvement in video games has instead become a battleground of conflicting ideas. What, what spread of knowledge? What spread of knowledge? You play Pac-Man in Apex Legends. It's not spreading knowledge here. This isn't philosophy. What are you talking about? That's not true. When, uh, when it was announced Metro Exodus was going to the Epic Game Store instead of Steam, that place spread <laughs> all kinds of knowledge everywhere. That shit was a fucking war zone. This Great is work, our games. They are so joyless. In this, we lose out on the chance to not only show compassion to these people, but also the chance to grow our own community and diversify the demographics of those involved in it. Yeah, this is what people want to hear on April Fools, by the way. Whether it's misogyny, transphobia, homophobia, racism, or a host of other discriminatory practices, now is the time to stymie the flow of regressive ideas and prevent them from ever becoming the norm. Th through what, April Fools? Is that how yeah. the Fourth Reich so, is going to rise to power and resurrect Hitler is April Fool's jokes? So looking at the whole thing, I, in some ways at the beginning, poking around their long diatribe manifesto, I was like, you know, I can, okay, fine, I get it. They're doing a whole, okay, for April Fool's, we're not fool and we're going to, we're going to take a stand <laughs> against a bunch of issues and this and that. Like, okay, fine. In, in a lot of cases, that can be a fun little like, I don't know if a hospital did it. They're like, we're not fooling with cancer. We're raising money. You know what I'm saying? That'd be great. But when you read it, you get halfway through and you realize they're just linking screenshots of like mean comments people posted on the subreddit. From and they're like two years ago as well. Exactly. These comments and they're were like, left like two years ago <laughs> and they're heavily downvoted. This is the terrible, heinous shit that we have to deal with every single day. This is what we see in this community as moderators. And that right there instantly closed the book on me giving a fucking shit about anything they said because it's just grandstanding. It's purely just, we are the authority. Look at this horrible filth that we have to put up with. So listen to our spiel. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's fucking it's pathetic, honestly. Though. And even then, Jackson, like what Jackson said, all the comments are downvoted. None of them. Yeah, it's not it's not like there. someone made a post on the thread and was all like in Mortal Kombat, I get to kill women. And that's hilarious. No, they're all just <laughs> comments. They're all comments. It sounds like a shoots. comment you left there. You <laughs> said that got downvoted. <laughs> but but like they're all just comments on on other unrelated shit that we're already downvoted that we're already like, already taken care they're of. Also, Think of this, they were also left, these comments were, some of them were left between three to nine months ago. So some fucking, whoever wrote this post had to crawl through all of their fucking posts and find comments yeah. left six months ago to, oh. to 
pad out this shit fucking April Fool's joke. Christ. God. Not just that, I follow fun. these, the whole gamer, gaming, not gamer community, the game developer community and the gaming, I guess, community, the, the people who really drive it all by generating this stuff, like the game developers, the people hosting all the shit, they are the most joyless people that you will see these days. I call them the new Puritans. They're so fucking boring. I follow so many of them on Twitter. Not just, when I say game developer, I don't just mean the programmers. I mean the artists, the publicists, whatever you want to call them, the, the people who host the venues, organizers. And I don't know if you guys uh, uh, paid attention, but they had GDC recently, the, the game developers conference, where all of the mm -hmm. game developers, they come together. The people who make the game engines, they get together. And I, I look at Twitter and they're all so fucking joyless and unhappy. One of them was complaining that GDC had an open bar. <laughs> the, the, these people, these people, they like to think, you know, the game developer community leans heavily progressive, like extremely progressive. These guys, they want to think that they're so progressive and open minded and they're iconoclasts going against the status quo. You know, the, the they all have colored hair and all. Let me tell you. It, if you find yourself raging against open bars and April Fool's jokes, you're a Puritan. You're a stone's throw away from being an honorary Amish. This is ridiculous. You're angry at an open bar. I, uh, I also want to. I also want to point out. I'm. Lo I'm still looking at the uh, our games April Fool's thing. I also want to point out how uh, great grandstanding is for business. As, as I speak, that comment by the Reddit mods team, the games mods team, has a uh, 55 Reddit silvers. I'll get the fuck out of here. 76 Reddit Golds and 34 Reddit Platinums. What the fuck so, does any of that mean? For it's people donating money to points. Reddit to accolade the page. Yeah, for those of you who aren't losers, it means people paid money to Reddit. A whole bunch of buttload of money to upvote this stuff. Incredible. This is what this community has come to, is jokes aren't kosher, jokes are sinful. So is alcohol, by the way. Wow. Like, I'm reading these tweets and it's, you know, I was, I was standing in line and one of the organizers came up to me and asked for my badge. Another tweet. An org I was standing, you know, around the bar and a man came up to me and complimented me. What, really? <laughs> well, I like, mean, Is that's... that verbatim the complaint? Well, not verbatim, I'm paraphrasing, but yes, the complaint was that a random man walked up to this person and complimented her. And she thought that this... They always go on four th uh, five tweet rants as you know they can never just keep it to one tweet either so she explained that she felt condescended to because she was there she's a industry professional yet here was this man paying her attention because she was attractive oh oh the galls it's just uh, every everything about um april fool's day was just completely ruined by twitter yesterday did you see discord as a as a joke, deleted their light theme, so everyone had to use dark theme. Thank and God! Just the <laughs> the immediate the immediate uproar on Twitter from from uh, people saying that they need light theme to to function and to be able to read properly. Which fair enough, if if you need that, that's fair. But still, it's like one day. It's April exactly. Fools. Exactly. It's um, one day. Uh, so no fun so allowed. 30, 30, 30 minutes later, Discord had to had to. Go back on their April Fool's prank almost immediately oh because God. Twitter was up in arms about it. It was uh, great. I'd love to see what Springle had to say about the rain <laughs> doobles on that one, honestly. Oops, a goodle. We turned out the light lights. Oh, yeah, somebody that posted. A, that's yeah, a hard Charlie, kippa. You made a video about how cringy Discord's messages are, and mm -hmm. somebody posted it onto the, um, the Discord subreddit. And apparently. Somebody showed me a screenshot. Again, I don't know if it's real. I don't know if it's faked or not, because when I checked out the thread, I couldn't find that comment. But in the screenshot, it looked like one of their moderators said, we, we definitely don't send out messages like this. <laughs> <laughs> At least not for support messages or for bad messages, something like that, it said. Oh, my. Yeah. The, uh, God, I, I hate this. Joylessness. Imagine April Fool's like... People like us, we look forward to this shit. I'm sitting here a week in advance thinking, how can we fuck over our fan base? Like, how can we fool them? <laughs> and then there is these people who 
uh, tent their fingers and go, Excellent, we have all these screenshots of heavily downvoted comments that are mean. Now we can censor the whole subreddit for a day. <laughs> can you have some fun? Wow, you're so boring. God. You know what's not boring, though? A nice pair of shoes. Andrew, would you like to tell them about GOAT? Well, GOAT.com is the safest way to buy and sell authentic sneakers online. They are the largest marketplace in the world for authentic. And it, it even like underlines and italicizes authentic to let you know that these are authentic Yeezys, Jordans, and over 600,000 other sneakers listings. There are a lot of counterfeit sneakers online. You really don't have much of a way to tell if you know what you're getting is legitimate. But GOAT makes sure that every detail is inspected from the stitching to the color to the size to the weight. GOAT certifies that every single pair of sneakers on their website matches the exact spe factory specifications of whatever brand you're looking for. There's over half a million sneakers on the platform and 10 million users, meaning that you will not find better prices for verified 100% authentic sneakers. The process is frictionless, trustworthy, and you do it on the internet. So if you're an up-and-coming cool kid, you should already know how to do all of it. If you want to find the perfect 100% authentic sneakers, you can go to goat.com slash official. That's G-O-A-T. Yeah, like, like the animal, goat.com slash official. Plus, you will be supporting our show. And if you've gone right yeah. now, you can get sneakers by the time you're done listening to this episode. There's a lot of people who really care about their sneakers. I know one of them, he's called Kicks Passion, if the name is in the giveaway. But goats, they verify all of the sneakers, the weight, the color, the smell, the size, the materials. So you're, you know, there's a lot of people who really want to get good sneakers. And there's a lot of websites out there who will screw you over. These guys don't do that. They verify that these sellers are legitimate. So if you don't want to get screwed out of a lot of money that some people are willing to spend on these sneakers, you should use goat.com slash official. For a personal story, I used to be really into sneakers when I was younger and I got a pair of retro Jordans when I was, I don't know, leaving high school, I think. A couple years later, I come to find out they're fake. So... It's pretty yeah. common to get a fake pair. <laughs> they, uh, I, I, I legitimately, if if you guys out there are listening or interested, which of course you are, go on their website and read their elaborate testing process. If you're feeling any hint of a doubt, they go really, they really go all out to make sure that you're getting authentic shoes. Yeah, so absolutely. G o a t dot com slash official. If you want to check yeah. it out, Charlie. What should you do when if you buy fake sneakers? You know, slice open your neck. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it sounds about right. <laughs> Thanks, wise words from Charlie. Okay. So while you were doing that ad, Andrew, somebody did send me evidence. This is on the yeah. actual Reddit thread. This reply is real. This is a in reply to a tweet Charlie made, and Charlie's tweet is this. Discord is so goddamn embarrassing. Every interaction with them goes similar to this. Discord supports Spungle here. Our noble elf fairies have decided your account must remain banished in the no-no realm, Kempa. Thanks for contacting your old pal Spunglemeister. And <laughs> this is an employee, a Discord employee. <laughs> that was Charlie's tweet, this. by the way, just for, that just was for Charlie's context. Tweet. That wasn't He's an actual Discord thing. That was that was him making a joke. Yes, so this and really this no is though. an actual Discord employee called Shu, who's probably a furry. He says this isn't how we respond to terms and service slash account disables at all. It is. I never. <laughs> well, so uh, to Shu because Shu, I also got linked to the Reddit. It's Shu there as well. So they are they are following me around and they're not happy with my opinion of the Discord brand identity of being <laughs> overly Kimpa. Uh, Shu says uh, very explicitly, this isn't how they handle terms of service or account disables. And that's all. You know, maybe they don't handle like getting banned that way, but they handle getting accepted as a partner, declined as a partner or any questions you have for them in that same manner of sprinkle mingle tingle here with a rain double to really fuck you up real good. Somebody, Click here for the swag at the hype beast or whatever. Somebody just shared a message they got from Discord. Uh, yeah. Can I read this? Yeah, read it, read it. This is the, the header of the email is Discord hype squad application received. 
Choo choo, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Your application is aboard the Discord Deluxe Express and headed straight to our uh, hype facility. Where we're <laughs> hype facility? <laughs> Hi, where we're constantly yelling at each other about how excited we are. And let me tell you, we're super excited that you're <laughs> that you've applied to our hype squad. I'm currently yelling at the guy next to me that you applied and he's all like, shut up, but we won't let him get us down. <laughs> oh, Once your super God. hype application arrives to the hype facility, magical discord elves will load up your application uh, on giant what monitors. What is their fascination with elves? Grab some popcorn and check it out. After reading through your application, the elves then start screaming at each other to see who can bring the most <laughs> hype. Woof, woof, chuck wagon. After this long, grueling session of screaming, the elves sit down, drink, drink cold brew coffee. Of course, it's coffee. <laughs> and listen to this is how we do it to get themselves pumped up about what what your verdict will be. We know the anticipation is intense, so if you're itching to get some stress out, feel free to tweet at Discord app with any questions or musings. Someone will be around to keep you calm and tell you that yes, everything will be okay. I love you and can't wait to hear what the <laughs> verdict is. Look out for an email in the coming week. Until next time, the hype conductor. <laughs> I've, uh, oh, I've found the problem with Discord. I found their problem. They're still writing messages like it's 2001. Went back on the fucking, internet, it all tried to be like random and haha, <laughs> we're so quirky. That's I exactly love, what it is. I love this email. The hype conductor. That sounds like a bad League of Legends name, like the danger chef. The hype conductor. I can, I can fucking <laughs> feel the energy in this. Like I imagine there actually is like a hype squad cubicle at Discord HQ that's just fucking rabid animals screaming. Fuck yeah! Been applied! Ben's here! <laughs> the elves. Well, that, that's a lot of clipping right there. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> the, hype, the hype conductor really brings it out of me. <laughs> well, I yeah. just... Are they trying to live in this uh, weird alternate reality? Is that what they're trying to create? Because they just constantly go on about elves and world building. They're trying to create this perfect utopia for Discord users. Ah, oh, they're such losers. <laughs> Utopia, that's, that's quite, the, quite the term for a place that bans any server that mentions forbidden <laughs> words. Yeah, Utopia is the first thing that comes to mind when I think of Discord. Well, it's not yeah, a Utopia like for dystopia. us, but that's what they believe. See, this is the kind of humor that comes out of the mind of people who d do the whole uwu. What is that I see in your pants? Is that a bulge? Rawr, snuffles your neck. A furry it shit. The same. Furry You're sexual right. it play. Is the shame. The same. Oh fuck! I never, I never put those two together. But it's the same exact kind of language. By furries. This is the coordinator, the brand image manager, or rather the well, hey, hype yeah. conductor. He's a furry. <laughs> I bet you money. This guy's a furry. Whoa, Whoever wrote that mail. Whoa, 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 he's that's a furry. A heavy and he's a porn. I bet my whoa, money. Don't, whoa, whoa, don't, whoa, whoa, don't whoa, defame whoa, the hype whoa, conductor. Whoa, don't whoa, defame him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I want to ask you guys two questions. I want an actual debate on this. Number one, how long does it take for them to come up with that kind of message before they start auto sending it? And number two, how much do you think they pay the people who come up with it? Because I'm looking at my future job here if it's pretty good. Because this <laughs> shit is just you just you just go on GeoCities archives and just copy and paste. Well, it's more like I don't Tumblr know role play <laughs> websites. Yeah, I don't imagine they, they get like an extra raise if the hype conductor really gets into it. I imagine <laughs> it's just kind of like standard procedure. Oh, God. I miss, I miss cold corporate responses. The kind where you send a message. I, somebody hacked into my account. All my financial da data is being stolen. And you just get back a one line reply like, we're looking into it. I miss oh, those no, I, days. I, 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 I'm going to go ahead and disagree on that one. I, I think a nice middle ground is in order where they're like, give, here's some information. Like, at the end of the day, it should just read the information you need. Hi, it, that whole thing should just say, hi, we got your application. We're processing it now, blah, blah, blah. Maybe this is how long it'll take usually, blah, blah, blah. Not just, we got it. And, and yeah. on the other end of the <sighs> spectrum, not just our sprinkle fairies are farting all over it now to see if it'll turn blue. <laughs> yeah, I, there's yeah, a, I guess. There's a the Discord. Nice. Discord, if you're listening, there is a magical middle ground land. I know you guys are into sparkly little pixie palaces. It's called <laughs> just saying the fucking information people want. You don't <sighs> have to go on a whole high end fantasy adventure just to tell me, oh, my application's been accepted. 
I wonder if that wasn't root. even for an accepted application. That was just to say, hey, we we got your app. All right, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. I'll, I'll even take I'll even take just one fucking sentence that says, hey, we got your application and put it on the hype squad. That's it. Draw, just end it there. I don't need to read the lore about your fucking Discord acceptance message. Jesus. That's a really good point, though, Jackson. That wasn't an accepted hype squad member. That was just like the reception to getting <laughs> yeah, the I application. Can't wait oh to see what God. it's how excited they get when you're actually accepted. <laughs> <laughs> they fly to your house. They just send you a colorful GIF and an air horn <laughs> MP3. Holy shit, good. I mean, they send their entire team Interpol does to Interpol you. and the FBI even need to be tracking child porn rings? They can just bust the Discord offices and probably make a bunch of arrests and call it a Whoa, day. No. Oh, come I on, don't you know, know if they could take they they couldn't take the hype conductor on their worst <laughs> day. <laughs> He'll go down shooting. <laughs> 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 fucking screaming like Tarzan <laughs> it's, it's gonna be like Scarface say hello to my sparkly little friend oh, <laughs> oh man the fucking hype conductor godspeed <laughs> whatever employee wrote that uh, is that what is that what this episode should be called the hi- something to do with oh the hype god conductor. fuck me You're somebody like, just sent me the one that's the message that you get when you accept it do we want this this see- uh, you might as well just for the closure. Uh, hey, Ben. Back at the Discord Hype Facility, our magical elves have decided that you're way too awesome for us. In other words, you've been accepted into the Hype Squad. Woo! Here we go. Soon you'll be automatically <laughs> added to our super cool Hype Squad server, where you can chat with other Hype Squatters. You'll also get a Hype Squad badge to wrap on your Discord profile. It's like a super cool pin for your internet self. And we ain't done. Two versions of the Discord Hype Squad logo are attached. Go ahead and add it to your site, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube to page refrigerator etc to show off your hype status ah. to further show your support we'd love for you to share the hype squad on whatever social media you use share the following links blah 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 anyway welcome to the team hype squatter you're awesome and i hope i get to see your energetic face again don't forget you can always reach us back at hq by emailing hype squad at fucking sprinkle dicks until next time hype conductor <laughs> Maybe. Wait, so is is the hype squad just you advertise for Discord? Because that's the most pathetic fucking Fuck thing I've ever yeah, heard. Fuck yeah, it is, Jackson! Hype gonna, squad! I was gonna say, maybe maybe we're going after the wrong target. Let's let's actually look at the bigger picture. Ben, why did you apply for this? <laughs> yeah. You probably did it just to see what happens. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Ben yeah, yeah, uh, sure. surely thinks this is the coolest shit he's ever seen. <laughs> His Twitter profile, he's changing it right now from the hype yeah. squad to he's something using the else. badges. <laughs> well, the he's crying listening me. to this. He, yeah, he posted in a chat going, dude, the official guys are going to think I'm so fucking cool. I'm on the hype squad. Let's see what they have to say about that. I'm finally a legit teenager. Spingles thinks I'm cool. <laughs> this what happens for you, you conductor. <laughs> what happens when you're declined from the hype squad, though? That must Ooh. be depressing. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I wonder. I, I, I hope it's, it's just pure business. It's clearly business. just an advertising thing. It's clearly I, just an advertising thing. Why don't they just let everyone in the hype squad? Why is there any, even an application <laughs> process? Question. I hope the fucking hype squad, the decline is just pure business. Just sorry, we didn't accept your application. Yeah, that's please it. just leave us alone. Fuck you. <laughs> you made Sprinkle <laughs> shoot himself this morning. I, you know what? That's a good point. Maybe, maybe <laughs> we, maybe we can try to stumble on internet hidden treasure. If Discord is trying to make a cool deal out of just promotion for free. I, I would love for the internet to come together. Anyone listening to the show, show me a rejection letter. Any Anyone out there, if you applied to the Hype Squad or anything else at Discord, I want to see how they treat when they have to tell you no. That I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking curious if they keep up that floofy ra- language or actually, I don't know, act like adults. I, I can't imagine how okay, it's anything different. Our chat is autistically data min- mining all of these emails, by the way. So shout out to all of you people. Here, here's the message you get when your support ticket is closing, which belies what Shu said to Charlie or replied to uh, in the thread. Hi, blank. This is just a super quick notice that we will be closing your support ticket and I will be eating it shortly. Hopefully, we solved your issue what? with such grace and finesse that you didn't need to respond. If that's the case, if if that's the case, great. Meal for me. Otherwise, please respond, and we will seek our support team on the problem like a dog on some marbled wagyu, and then I'll find something else to eat. I guess. Thanks, eater of support tickets. 
Yeah, oh, Chu, I'm Christ. calling you out. Like, you, this blatantly goes against what you've commented on everything I've said about Discord. Yeah. Literally, immediately contradicts it. Because that is a terms of service uh, email response right there. That's fucking wild. Eater uh, of support tickets is second fiddle to Sprinkle, might I add. I like Sprinkle more. <laughs> God, I hate these people so, so much. much. I'm so House of Balance? What the fuck is this bullshit? Oh no, do I have to read that one too? Do they have multiple replies? Is it just randomized? What? Do they have factions like Allegiance or whatever it is? Oh my god, what? yeah, what is this? Oh my god. Read that actually. They, this is some admirable world This building. is from the, the, the faction Discord Hype Squad. Welcome to the Hype Squad! The House of Balance, thanks you for joining our efforts to protect the land and maintain the legacy of Arame. Your ability to stay stout and steadfast in times of uncertainty is admirable. Without your natural understanding of both your environment and your inner self, we would be much closer to descending into chaos. Anyways, oh, this yeah. can't be real. <laughs> this can't now, be real. Now that you're part Descending of the ever-growing ever -growing House of Balance, not only will you receive the coveted Hype Squad badge to rep on your Discord profile, but you're also about to snag some perks specifically for only the astute and most noble leaders under the House of Balance. Keep an eye out in your email inbox for when the House of Balance is called to action. We'll be sending out newsletters containing giveaways, contest, contests, and more. Furthermore, a file cont this reads like a fucking uh, Mission Impossible debrief now. This isn't too exciting. God, it, it's I like baffling. how it's saying you're going to prevent us from falling into chaos as half of them are like getting indicted on like furry porn cubbing shit. I, so I from, what I'm, from what I'm seeing, because the declines for the, the hype squad are very like straightforward, like, oh, they've been looking over your application. We can't accept you at this time. Sorry. Well, we haven't it, seen a decline. We have. Yeah, we did. There was, there was one posted, and it literally is just a straightforward, sorry, at this time, we can't let you in. So oh. what, I'm, what I'm seeing, what I think, I think I cracked the code, everybody. You get accepted into the hype squad if they think that you enjoy their cheesy bullshit emails. Because they only send you them if you're in. Otherwise, they send you a straight up, sorry, we can't let you in. I've hmm. cracked it. I've solved the mystery. I think I enjoy their emails, but just to make fun of, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, these I are some hate, great emails. I would hate to, like, genuinely interact with them. Like, if I had Discord problems or a question, like, getting these kind of emails would probably send me over the rails of my fucking second story here. It's just so, like, condescending and infuriating. Maybe they're, uh, maybe they're the future. Maybe bigger businesses need to adopt these methods. Maybe yeah, like, I think uh, that's what, yeah, that's like, what we need. like Goldman Sachs, you're going to go for a loan. They're going to be like, well, let's just, we'll pull up your hardy darty account balance here and count your shingles inside of your Hoover local. Ooh, your application is amazing. I just fed it into the ants farm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Things we like, coroner. Da, da, oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, where's my jingle? Where's my jingle? Here's the things we like, coroner. They might seem like cynical dicks. So they're going to throw this into the mix Just so you don't think they're dead inside It's the things we like corner Thank you, Jen from the Genesis nice. Department. Okay. Um, I watched Us last night at the cinemas. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was good. Not as good as Get Out, but still a pretty good movie. I felt like the only downsides to the movie were that the the comedy in the movie didn't really work. I didn't feel like it had a necessary place in the movie, like how Get Out did. But apart from that, it was still really fun, enjoyable watch. I would recommend it. Well, I, I just have to disagree. I thought it was average at best. But you're welcome to like whatever you want to like. <laughs> yeah. Did you like the twist at the end? Don't spoil it. Don't spoil uh, it. No, no. Actually, upon thinking about... I'm not going to spoil it, but up, upon thinking about that... I, I liked the twist. I didn't like that they just directly showed you the twist. You know what I mean? Because they directly just confirm it. If you're thinking about what I'm thinking about. Yeah, I guess we just have to disagree. I didn't think anything <laughs> worked about what they tried to do with that. I, I, I if they hadn't have directly showed it and kind of just implied it and let the audience put it together in their mind, I feel like it would have gone over a whole lot better. Well, ambiguity would have served the movie much better. But even still, like everything leading up to all the huge reveals that were just fucking blasted into your head. It was just really cliche and mediocre. I didn't think that. But like you said, we're free to disagree. This mm -hmm. is an R slash games. 
<laughs> Close down the podcast for the day. <laughs> Your turn, Andrew. Oh, fuck. Because uh, I, I keep going back to ones I've already done. That feeling you get in a game when the design of it is very smooth and everything is purposefully done and it gives you that little endorphin rush when you see how all the pieces together. And you know what? It's part of Breath of the Wild, but I'm going to specify. Yeah, You're dick. just saying you like good games. No, listen, on, this is different. Something. So Breath of the Wild, the you get one of your first quests in the entire game is to find a village. It's literally like the very first guy you meet. He's like, go to this village and talk to this woman and she'll give you a nice hug or something. And when you get there... You, you you as the player might be going, you know, I really I like this village. There's a lot of shops here. It's the first time the entire game. There's a little hub area. That's that's real good. That's that's real nice. I would like to be able to easily come back here. So you can't fast travel to the village because like you, you can only travel to either shrines or towers. Shrines are like mini dungeons and towers are like scouting points. So what they do is they put a shrine right next to the village. So the player is encouraged to solve the shrine, which is a mini dungeon. So that way you can unlock the fast travel. And guess what happens when you go into the, the shrine by the village? It's a tutorial for more advanced bas battle tactics. So now you as the player have gotten through a tutorial, learned new tactics, all because of your own volition. It wasn't forced on you. It was just how things were laid out. And I think that's incredibly clever and smart and fun. I love that kind of shit. And I don't think many games do it very well. So yeah, that, that gave me a good old endorsement rush when that happened. I enjoy design elements that reward the player. Fair enough. Charlie? I tried a new sushi spot near my house, and I got a new kind of roll. I got a salmon jalapeno cream cheese roll. So I'm working on my spicy tolerance while also getting some delicious seafood in there. And that's what I liked. Isn't spicy that just the same? Tolerance. Isn't that the same yeah. as every other roll you get, but with jalapeno? Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> There's jalapenos Ooh, in it, though. That's what makes stand, it big. Stand back. <laughs> jalapenos aren't even spicy. Careful, I'm everyone. powerful. All right, how about you, Kaya? Oh, thanks, Charlie. I really like the blacklist with James Spader. James Spader is the guy who played Ultron in Age of Ultron. We, I didn't know him at the time. I didn't. I have never seen anything else that he'd been in. But I watched the back blacklist, and now he's one of my favorite actors. He... He has that unique charisma that makes some actors carry the rest of the TV show or the movie that they're in, just like Clint Eastwood, uh, Anthony Hopkins, or Al Pacino. I'd now put him in that tier. James Spader is really fun to watch. So everybody check out The Blacklist. I like him. It's a good show. I only watched the first season, but I liked it. Oh, it's really fun. He's great. All right, that concludes the things we like corner. Do we before before we move on to the final corner, which is the cartoon corner? I assume we have a cartoon today to listen to. Oh, of course. Okay, so before we do that, I just want to throw a quick question out to everyone. Since we were talking about April Fools, are there, has anyone seen any April Fools pranks today that were actually good? No. <laughs> yeah, that I wasn't anything allowed. enjoyable at all. No. I was thinking about that today, and honestly, I haven't seen a single April Fool's that really made me, really impressed me. Yeah, neither. Which is surprising, because you would think they would have blown up what with how the internet is at the moment. I don't know. I just haven't seen anything. No. Nothing's, nothing's felt inspired. Everything's just felt whatever. Well, I haven't I even seen a single goddamn April Fool's joke. What have you guys seen today? We'll ask the question a little easier. None. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen I'll shit. Give you oh, a, I'll give Elon you a handful. Musk released a song about Harambe. Would you like me to play it? No. Okay. No. Uh, I, don't, I don't want him to copyright strike us. Yeah. Oh, no. He uh, released so it on couple... SoundCloud, Charlie. It's just a shitty autotune he made. It's not an actual <laughs> copyrighted song. God. So a couple I've seen. Google lets you play Snake on Google Maps. Uh, which is boring. 4chan turned into Reddit where they added, like, liking and upvoting to their posts. <laughs> and banning people which, for everything. Yeah, which is part, <laughs> of, part of the joke, because they hate Reddit. Uh, there were one or two other ones I knew of that I just glanced at, but I've forgotten them because they were just so boring and uninspired. I mean, we talked yeah, about Discord. Yeah, really nothing... Removing it's just mode. it's just companies announcing products that don't actually exist. I I That's did it. one. 
I did one on our subreddit where I said we were canceling the podcast. <laughs> it's a big well, one. Well, that's just as <laughs> uninspired as what yeah. you're talking about. I know, there. I did it in two seconds. You got a bunch know. of replies, though, who worked. Yeah, it, it, got, it upset people, so it worked. All of these replies are really boring for me because I, I feel like I'm the master prankster here. I'm, I'm just going to yeah. you know, pat myself on the back here a little bit. I, I just can't think of any that I remembered in uh, our game shut down, but we talked about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As sad as it is, I guess the only the only one I've even seen today, like genuinely, the only one I've seen is the Justin Bieber faking pregnancy thing. That's not even good. Yeah, that's not even like an April Fool's joke. That's just it's so boring. Yeah. yeah, April Fool's Day was a boring day this year. I guess it was. It. Take us to the cartoon corner then. Okay. Jen, if you're listening to this for some reason still, I'm sorry, but also, could you make us a jingle for the cartoon corner? Okay. <laughs> we'll pay you. Well, I mean, I will, but she's super nice. I don't think she would even accept. All right. This is a cartoon from, I don't know what year this is. This might be a little too old for you, Jackson, but you may have heard the name of the cartoon. This might be a curveball, but the even title of the show actually does come up in the uh, lyrics, so you might be able to guess. All right, everybody ready? Yep. yep. All right. Darkwing Duck. God damn it. <laughs> that was almost immediately. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've never yeah. even heard of that. Darkwing Duck was big, but I never really watched it. Oh, very yeah, much. Kaya, you can't do it when the name's the same in German because then we're just going to hear the title. But, but it's 20 yeah. seconds you into got it, it immediately. It doesn't matter. God and damn it. I wasn't even 20. I was three seconds into it and got it. No, I, yeah. I mean the name it was 20 seconds into it oh, when he first enough. says it. That's, that's fair enough. Uh, All right. Motherfucker. You got to make like, it harder, dude. It's too easy. I honestly think I could beat Andrew. I can't at make any it harder. I, I have to make it easier. I can't play '80s cartoons to you guys. I have to no, play no, something that Jackson would know. What? No, no, no. I said you don't even have to worry about me. I'm probably not going to outbeat them with no, cartoons Kyle, anyway. Right. You need to make it a race. So you need to play something that you think all three of us would know. Like anything '90s, like anything '90s, early 2000s, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, WB, Four Kids. I could probably beat Andrew on and recognizing quick. You shouldn't test whether we know the show or not. We should test how quickly we recognize it. Because Andrew's extensive encyclopedic knowledge of, like, obscure shows is going to win. Darkwing Duck, race, the most obscure cartoon known to man. Bad, I've never heard of it. Bad example. But, like, the previous ones that you got, like, fucking Goomy Bears. Goomy Bears. <laughs> Goomy Bears, the most, ex the most obscure cartoon known to man. It's not that. I had no it's idea Gummy Bears had a... It's one of the most popular cartoons obscure. ever made, especially in Europe. Well, in Europe, Andrew, yes, yeah. perhaps. So Kaya and I have a little bond. He's European, and I just know stupid shit. <laughs> it should be a race, though, because <laughs> the then greatest Jackson, of bonds. <laughs> yeah, then Jackson has a chance as well. It should be a race. We'll just modify the shit to playing you ran a random clip from a random cutscene in a random game and having you guess what game it is. Maybe oh, that cool. came out I'd in the last ten years. One. We can do that. that one. Yeah, I think that'd be cool if you pick like really well-known games. Actually, that that's not cool. like a good yeah. idea. I'm going to write that one down. I like that. Yeah, like, just make it, like, make it obvious enough. Like, I don't know, take a Devil May Cry one where, but all it is is Dante saying, Virgil, you can't do this, and that's it. Like, I, I think well, that'd be Well, if cool. he says Virgil, we'd all know. You'd have to take the one but, where it's, I could have dispelled darkness from yeah, your heart. Exactly. Ones where, <laughs> you know, if you're if you're paying attention, Ooh. you can get it, so that way you don't have yeah. to have had to play the game. I think that's cool. Some Kingdom Hearts uh, lines could be really fun. Uh -huh. oh, is that yeah. the door to darkness? Uh -huh. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to we have to find out specifically which Kingdom Hearts game it came from. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's terrible. That's disgusting. Because then we're off. We have to be like, uh, Kingdom Hearts thirty three and a third Return of Cards. I don't know. <laughs> All right, make make that a video game cutscene intro then, Jen. Okay. Are we ready to wrap up? Yes, yes, we are ready to wrap up. Okie dokie. Then Going send us out to one of you. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching this week's episode of the official podcast and not the Misfits. I hope you're not watching the Misfits. We were the original ones. Keep yep. watching us, please. Uh, you can head on over to patreon.com slash the official podcast to support us and get bonus content, bonus episodes like the one we discussed in this episode where Charlie was a robot for it, a soundboard, <laughs> and we conversed with him. That was a lot of fun. I'm kind of sad, we, bonus 20, I'm kinda sad we talked about it because now new people going to listen, they're going to know the trick. 
when uh when we originally did it legitimately no one guessed it was a soundboard well th- this episode won't be coming out for another week so they've got a bit of time that's true yeah. that's true well five days until this comes yeah. out this will just be a rumor among the patron community good all right we'll see you next week everyone bye everyone bye bye bye, bye.